our life is very much dependent on exchange, which means breathing is related to exchange, exchanging fresh oxygen with used oxygen. The breathing aspect is just one of them, but it's not complicated to learn it, and this is why it's so special. First, I inhale into the belly area, which is like this. Now it's like full, but I can still continue now on top of this. This one is full now, this one is full now, and now even more. Now everything is really full, and now I slowly exhale again. So that means the one thing is you slow down the breath, but at the same time it's also how deep you are inhaling into the body. This is also something very, very important. Stand in an erect position and just copy the movement that you see in the instructional videos regarding just the movement, just regarding how the form is supposed to look. Yeah. Keep the body open, meaning Try to now get an awareness for the complete body, even so that the arm is extended outwards, but I still feel all parts of my body, which means I feel a sense of connectivity of the body. My intention right now, I'm going to synchronize together with my breathing, which means on the first inhalation, I just follow the breath until it reaches the center of my body. Inhale. Stop the breathing for a moment and on the exhalation I'm extracting with the mind the life force from the breath and directing towards the posture. Second time. Partially, the intention stays in the limb that you just nourished. You continue breathing in again. Direct the intention, direct the life force. Now, as you can see, the arm and this complete posture starts to swell up a little bit. Yeah. And if you, for example, now compare this uh, arm in comparison to when I contract my muscles in order to achieve this. So this is the muscle, okay? but it's released. It's still loose. It's just with the intention and the breathing you're nourishing your body. Inhale into the center, exhale and direct the intention into the posture. And now, for example, if you afterwards just like compare both arms, you can see a little bit that the right arm is like much more vital and it looks like it's filled up with much more energy. And actually this type of principle now that you're inhaling into the center and during the exhalation, you are directing it into the different areas of the body. This is what you need to find out with all the postures, trying out different breathing techniques and also understanding how you should use your intention in order to guide this life force into the different areas of the body. This is one of the methods 
that uh, is possible to use. We take the first exercise of Yi Jin Jing and get into the posture first. Straighten the spine, open up your body, stay relaxed. And now when you are inhaling, you try to pull and inhale the life force directly into all the pores of your body. So this time my intention is not uh, it's not synchronized with the breath of the nose or of the lungs. It is synchronized with the expansion and the contraction of life force. So when I inhale, I pull the life force into this posture. On the exhalation, I compress and pack it into the structure. In. Out. Inhale directly into the structure. Exhale and pack the life force. And also here you can slowly see that the physiology of the body is starting to change. At the final breath, release but keep the energy in the body so in a way your body feels now much more vital much more pumped up and much more filled with life force the body is the representation of form so we have something formless and we have a form and what is happening in between what is connecting the formless with the form that is the breath this is why the breath is so powerful because when we are connecting our mind where the breath is yeah where, like i told you in the beginning you need to focus the mind in this area and then you feel the breath fill up and when the air enters out or, or leaves the body again you also follow with the mind so that means we are using the breath like an intermediate between the mind and the body and yes you said harmony of body and mind is important so how do we achieve it by first of all finding 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 that that one aspect which is connecting them which is connecting the body and the mind and that is the breath so we have the body we have the mind and what is connecting those two that is the breath and the more you understand the breath the more time you spend with the breath the deeper you are able to penetrate into the mind and also into the body. This is the very nice part about all of this.